Hi guys, welcome to the Creation of Maroon TV, episode 3, Photography as Performance. So, all of my life, I've always been a performer. I've always been performing, I've always been involved in some type of performance. But when I was younger, I did want to do everything though. I wanted to write the show, act in the show, design the show, do everything. Like, when I have the vision, I want to do it from top to bottom, meaning I want to create the whole thing. I want to take the pictures, I want to make the films, I want to make the songs, I want to sing the songs, I want to act in the film, I want to do it all. You know, I take a lot of inspiration from the likes of Charlie Chaplin. And it's not that, you know, I don't trust other people to do it with me. I love collaboration. It's just whenever I've collaborated, um, I've just never, it's never been exactly what I wanted. And I've only achieved exactly what I've wanted once I did it alone. But I'm always open to collaborations. Um, even my models, that's a form of collaboration to me because they bring ideas that I wouldn't have and it all comes together. So if I ever collaborate, it would just have to make sense to, to the vision that I aspire. But back then when I decided to become a fashion photographer, not only did I study fashion photography technically and fashion and the camera and all of that stuff technically, I also wanted to embody the fashion photographer, you know? If I'm gonna do fashion photography, I'm going to become a fashion photographer. So, um, I, I made a persona, you know? And it's not, uh, I didn't con consciously make that persona. It just, it's just something, it's just who I am. Like whenever I'm gonna do something, I'm going to do it 100%, you know? 110% even. So, um, when I decided to become a fashion photographer, I was like, okay, how should a fashion photographer dress? I started wearing these circle glasses, turtlenecks, um, this hat, and like I said, none of this was a conscious decision. It just happened gradually. I just started wearing these things. And when I was doing fashion photography, um, I was going by my full name, Merlin St. Jean, and that name felt like it made sense for fashion and fashion photography, since a lot of fashion and fashion photography originates from France, and my name is French. So I thought, you know, that would be a cool fashion photographer's name. Um, so subconsciously, all of this happened. So for me, that's how it became a performance for me. Like I had to embody the fashion photographer. And that doesn't mean that at my shoots, I was a fashion photographer or whatever you think that means that I was, you know, a diva or anything like that. Because if you ask most of the models I've worked with, um, what you see on the screen, on the internet, is the complete opposite of what you see behind the camera. I'm a very different pers person behind the camera. But that being said, if I'm gonna present myself as a fashion photographer, I'm gonna give you the full experience as a fashion photographer, what it means to be a fashion photographer. Now that I understand what I was doing back then, I'll consciously name the guy that takes fashion imagery, Merlin St. Jean. All right, so the second character that I'm going to introduce is the voyeur. And I created the voyeur when I started taking erotic images and I wanted to have a character for that. So the character that I created was the voyeur and that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, so whenever I take like provocative images, very sexually charged images, then I would, then that's the voyeur taking those images. Then I'm performing as the character, the voyeur character. The third character I'm introducing is the Disco Man. I created the Disco Man in 2019, and my idea behind that was to, you know, embody the Disco Man. I mean, the idea came because I was looking for beats to create a song, and the name of the instrumental was Disco Man. And I loved the instrumental so much, and I was like, I am Disco Man. And it just fit my personality, you know? I love disco, disco is one of my favorite genres. I love pop music in general. Like the music I'm gonna be making is gonna be pure pop and disco is gonna be one of the main genres of it. So for me to call myself the disco man just makes sense. You know, I love to dance. I love, love, love to dance, you know? And that's what the main thing the disco man was gonna do. And in the song I was rapping and it was, it was a very bad song as I said, but the song will be remade the Disco Man will be making a comeback. Um, I have a whole bunch of songs written for the Disco Man. We're gonna come back. We're gonna come back. So stay tuned. Stay tuned for the Disco Man. So the fourth character, two years ago, I introduced this guy named Silhouette Man. And I introduced Silhouette Man because I wanted to bring all of my characters together into one. And I feel like Silhouette Man was like the best person to do that. 
he's you know he's very flexible and Sui Red Man is just who I am pretty much um it's 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 basically just it's a perfect umbrella for all the characters so Sui Red Man is everyone Sui Red Man is Merlin Sui Red Man is Disco Man Sui Red Man is Voyeur Sui Red Man is all the future characters that I'm going to make in the future so Sui Red Man is just a perfect umbrella for all of the characters that I'm going to create so basically Merlin TV is a production company filled with characters the guy behind the production company Merlin TV Merlin himself he's a character and he is four different people right now so there's Merlin St. Jean the fashion photographer Voyeur the erotic photographer Disco Man Disco Man and, <laughs> and Silhouette Man which is the umbrella character for all of the characters that Merlin will be creating um, I will definitely be creating more characters in the future as I said these characters are not conscious creations they just happen so whenever I have a project and I feel like I have to create a character for it then that's when I'll introduce a new character and as for the people who are not Merlin the people who are not me the people that I'll be introducing in Merlin TV the avatars they will be their own characters and instead of you know Superman Batman or you know these names they're gonna be very regular people just like you and me um, their names are going to be Janet, Michael, Nicholas, you know, very simple names, but their superpowers will be metaphysical, spiritual. Um, so, as I said, this idea is very intricate, very, a little confusing, but once I start telling the narratives, once I start producing more projects, you're going to get a better idea of the vision. And I can't wait to do that. Thank you for watching this episode, episode 3, Photography as Performance. In the next episode titled The Ascent Avatars, I will be explaining to you the Hood Stars which will be a further explanation of the characters that I'm creating for Merlin TV who are not Merlin. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter at Merlin TV. Subscribe on YouTube and check out my website, Merlin.TV. Have a great day and night.